Hi, and welcome back to another Garmin Marine Team webinar. This is John with the Garmin Marine Team, and today I wanted to go over the brand new Garmin Boat Switch. We also are going to introduce the brand new GPS Map Series user interface. Let's get started. As always, we want to make sure if you have any questions for this particular webinar, please contact us at marine.training at garmin.com. We're going to run through uh, software updates. Uh, obviously, you want to make sure that you have your software updated in your Garmin GPS map unit before you go in and connect and install the boat switch. We're going to run through the GPS map series uh, user interface. This is going to be a brief run through so we can kind of get a little bit familiar with it. And I'll be doing a more in-depth version of our user interface in our upcoming webinar. And then we're going to dig deep into the boat switch and kind of let you know what boat switch is when you want to control switches from your Garmin GPS map series screen. Make sure that your unit is uh, compatible with the uh, the boat switch and then also what units will actually uh, be able to display the new user interface that we're going to be talking about today also. So obviously the all uh, new units that are out on the market right now, which would be the 8600 series, uh, the uh, 7X, 9X, 12X plus series. Um, one thing that you're going to look on here also is uh, you don't see the 7600 series on here. So you're not going to see the new user interface in that 7600 series. But we do include the Echo Map units, the UHD 7 and 9 inch models, and the Ultra series 10 and 12s. You're going to see kind of a preview here. We're going to be talking just about the uh, user interface today. In upcoming webinars, we'll dig deep into these other additions that we did in our January of 2022 software update. As always, make sure that your software is updated. There's a couple of different ways to do it. Uh, the, the easiest way is you can just go right on to Active Captain uh, on your chart plotter itself. Uh, when connected with the app on your uh, smart device, you'll be able to update your software. Uh, from your smart device to your chart plotter. Uh, you can also go in and update that through Garmin Express if you wanted to, or just manually download that software update. So if you go to our uh, webpage at garmin.com, you can go into uh, Marine section and software updates. You can also see what's new. So there's a, a cool little area here that we did, and it lets you know what we've done in the latest software updates, and you can go back in history and see what the additions that we've done. <clears throat> so January 2022 software update, this is a new GPS map UI. So before we get into the boat switch, let's just kind of run through and let you know what we've done with the UI. So on the left is what everyone is familiar with in the last few years in our GPS map series in the home page. And then on the right hand side, this is what you're going to see after the software update. Um, so it's different. And so just know that that obviously this is going to be a little bit different. We, we did this years ago um, in our uh, 8, 000, original 8000 series to our 7600 series, uh, going from an older layout to a newer layout and now we've actually done something even newer and the reason behind it is to bring features that you use in the GPS map series more upfront uh, make the pathway to get to different areas in the chart plotter quicker to get to uh, and then access and be able to view screens here when you're actually working within a screen itself so efficient uh, patterns, minimal uh, movement is what we're saying here too. Uh, we've done a, at the bottom there, you can see we've done like a home and a pinned carousel on the bottom. Um, so it allows us to change between screens quicker. Uh, we've modernized this. We've also included a warning manager on your, uh, your home menu page on the bottom. And the biggest thing is if you listen to my prior uh, GPS map user interface. I always said home and menu will get you through a Garmin unit now. And really, if you take a look at it, menu is now options. So if you remember options, 
options will get you into customizing that particular screen that you're on. And then we can also dig deep into settings, which is more of the global settings that you're gonna see within a GPS map series. And we'll talk about that too. So efficient movement, uh, here, here's what's nice about it is once you're in a screen, and in this example, we have side view showing on the screen itself. Uh, the bottom half of the screen is actually uh, your, your menu and it allows you to go into the different choices that you have from pinned, which was previously called favorites, chart, sonar, and so forth. So settings are accessible from any menu page. So once we've gone in and we've selected options on the bottom left here, you see settings. Uh, that allows us to, like I said before, get into more of the global settings or customize. So in this instance here, we're on the chart and we can go in and select settings and then chart settings will pop up. And this allows us to then go in and customize whatever we wanna do from orientation, chart size, but customize this particular uh, uh, setting on here. So uh, settings are also accessible from the home screen. Um, you just press the three dots here for options and then you'll see settings pop up on the bottom left-hand side. So gestures uh, allows the tiles can be viewed by swiping from left to right. So, and you can rearrange these also by selecting options. And if you need to take, uh, let's say fish mapping here and move it over to the first place because that's the one you're using the most, you have that option to adjust this um, uh, tile area down here. We can also add uh, most used tiles to a pinned area. Like I said before, that was previously called favorites. Um, and so what we can do is just press and hold that tile and then that will be added to pinned. All right, so that was a brief overview of what the GPS map user interface looks like. Let's get into the boat switch. Boat switch is a simple, simple digital switching solution off the shelf, pre-configured, it has the logic built into the switch itself. It has your harnesses uh, already in there. Um, each channel's labeled, so you'll be able to, to dive deep into the harness here and look and see that each channel is labeled for a specific function within the unit itself. Um, it communicates through NEMA 2000, so it's a simple, easy setup. It's plug and play out of the box. You don't have to have a PC to create the logic of what each one of these switches will do. Who is this for? So this is really for the people that are retrofitting a boat. Um, you know, it's for, it's for smaller boats. It's not a huge system here. There's 20 circuits that are available on the system here, um, either in uh, five amp or 10 amp switches. Um, this is great if you wanna retrofit a boat, you wanna be able to control your switches right from your Garmin screen you have that ability to go ahead and do that. So um, it, it makes it simple and easy if you wanna kind of clean up the dash with the ability to still keep your physical switches uh, on, on your vessel itself. So if you needed to go right to that particular switch and control it without going to the Garmin chart plotter, you still have that capability. Uh, we, we do, and we just wanna make sure, um, you know, with the safety warning that we recommend using professional installers to properly install this equipment to make sure that everything is installed correctly on your vessel itself. So this is the integrated boat experience. You wanna be able to go ahead and customize and customize a screen here and go in and dig deep and, and be able to control everything uh, with a touch of a screen. In this example, you have that ability to do it. The most important thing is what Garmin unit will uh, have this capability and it's gonna be the uh, Echo Map UHD 7 and 9 units and the Ultra 10 and 12 and then your current GPS map series which is 743 943 uh, button operated units 1042 1242 touch screen 1243 and then all of the 8600 series you'll be able to integrate Garmin boat switch 
So like I said before, it's an all-in-one option here. Uh, it's integrated control. It allows you to go in and connect up to 20 circuits. You've got on-off switches. You can control anything from bilge pumps to navigation lights, uh, non-dimmable, dimmable switches. And we'll take a look at how you can actually customize all this. So you can press and hold dimmer switches and set the preferred brightness on board itself. You've got momentary out outputs here. Uh, so you can control horns uh, by just the press of the button. And then you also have a live well timer. So it's a built-in timer that turns uh, the pump on to cycle water. You will get a uh, an alert here and uh, you can go ahead and confirm that particular alert alert with your live well timer. So you can manage your inputs too. Uh, what's really nice about this is you can actually monitor tanks. So from fuel, fresh water, wastewater, black water, live well, uh, this actually has the ability to go in and monitor those tanks and set them up through boat switch. So for instance, you wouldn't have to have a separate GFL 10 tank level sensor. You can go in and just use boat switch and that'll allow you to uh, to show those different levels of those tanks right on your screen itself. Um, we have additional setup so you can see uh, voltage on house batteries and starting batteries. So two batteries, you'll be able to monitor and see that. We can monitor bilge pumps um, and then uh, connect to op uh, the optional physical switches too. So if you still wanted your physical switch um, you know, in the system itself, you have that capability. I had a, a customer the other day that had a, you know, they wanted to make sure that they had a live well switch separately, just so they wouldn't have to dig deep into maybe your Garmin chart water, or they wanted it elsewhere, uh, uh, closer to the live well itself, and they still wanted that switch. Absolutely, you can still do that. Uh, designed for, you know, an upgrade, retrofitting existing boats, um and, and it really makes it easy or if you got a brand new boat and you just want to make sure that you have your your garmin central command center everything on your garmin touchscreen you can control right from it you can actually add garmin boat switch so in, uh, simple installation like i said before uh here's the garmin boat switch here your part number and included in the box is the x1 and x2 wiring harnesses here uh, each channel is labeled. Uh, documentation makes it simple and easy. Uh, connection is done via NEMA 2000. Um, like we said before, you've got dimmable, non-dimmable circuits for lights and accessories. With your circuits, you actually have five, uh, or I'm sorry, seven five amp circuits on there. Two of them are dimmable. And then you have 13 10, 10 amp circuits on there. Toggle. Uh, dimmable, momentary, live well, bilge, and then two that are always on. Uh, nice thing is right on your wiring harness here, everything's labeled, so it makes it simple and easy. And the installation manual is pretty simple too. It can actually uh, show you exactly what wire to connect to, which type switch that you're uh, utilizing. The tank level inputs, like I said before, there's a total of four. They can um, be, uh, two of them are voltage type. Uh, sensors, and then two of them are resistance sensors. Uh, you can configure the min-max um, via a press and hold, and then connect the uh, fluid type into that. So if you have uh, two fuel tanks, you'd be able to do tank one and tank two, and then you can do those levels of that tank when you're setting up the switch. So that way you have the correct uh, tank level displayed on your garment chart plotter. Um, Inputs uh, for up to 14 optional switches. Like I said before, you've got a house and battery monitors that this will actually do, and then builds build pump monitor. So uh, US less than, you know, uh, right at a thousand dollar price range um, and then compatible. Just, just make sure that you're utilizing the proper units here. So Echo Map, UHC seven and nine, Ultras 10 and 12, and then you see the GPS map series. So you don't need a separate uh, WDU for this. Uh, that's a web display unit. For those of you that uh, are familiar with our Empire Bus system, 
Uh, that is a system that is a larger system uh, designed for larger vessels. And that particular system, uh, you do need the WDU in there. And then you do need a program where you actually program the logic of each one of the switches uh, you know, into that Empire bus system. What we did with this is we, you know, we took that out and we just give you boat switch here pre-configured with all the logic in the background. And so in essence, you're just, you know, connecting your switches to that to make it simple and easy. Lots on this page here. This is just a, uh, a snapshot of the uh, installation manual here, uh, just showing the X1 and uh, wiring harness here and how each one of the wires and channels are labeled and let you know, for example, here, uh, channel one, it's a latching switch. So on off um, intended for red and green navigation lights. Channel two, this is a latching switch also. Uh, and then it's designed for a navigation anchor light on here. And so each one is a specific channel and a specific function and fuse rating per that function. So let's go in and show you the boat view setup. Uh, notice here, we have the brand new user interface and we're gonna go in on this example here. So just make sure that you're running the most current software. An example for the GPS map series is gonna be 26.10 uh, or higher. Um, and on your home screen here, if you go into vessel and you might have to scroll over from left to right, you'll see a page called switching. And so we would press that. And then this is already pre-configured. So we've customized this right from our chart plotter. How did we get here? So what you'll see here is we can, we can actually place a um, side view or top view, or we can actually do our own photo of the vessel itself. We can add the switches here, depending on how many uh, circuits that we have. In this example, we have eight different switches, you know, from anchoring and navigation lights, um, IR cameras, horn, bilge pump. And then we can also take those switches, we can name and label them. And then we can also place them in the location of the vessel that we see here. And in this example, if you notice, uh, navigation lights are on, they show up green. Bilge pump is on, shows up green. How did we get to this point? So let's go ahead and take a look here. When you go from your initial switching page before any setup, you're gonna see this page appear. And we make it simple and easy. So it's showing every switch that we have the option to uh, customize. If we come down to options, so just remember now, for those of you that remembered menu in the past, you're gonna see options now, and that lets us dig deep into this particular screen and customize it. So now we can go into setup. So uh, also I wanna let people know too, is you can change the switch style here. So we have the rocker switches displayed right now but you can also go in and change them to push button switches if you wanted to. So you can customize that even further. So we selected, uh, we went in and selected setup. And we wanna edit this particular page. So let's select edit. And at this point, let's go ahead and add the boat view image. If you notice also, we can come in and name this. So we can do one of three things for the boat view image. We can load from a card. So if you had like a high res JPEG image, you could load that from the card and show your boat right on the screen itself, or we could do a top view or side view. In this example, we'll show you side view. 
And now it gives us the option in setup here to go in and um, edit, change image, place switch. All right, so let's go ahead and place switches here on our vessel itself. So let me go back one also. If you notice too, we can go in and we can edit the switches. With editing the switches, we can actually uh, name what actual function the switch will do. And you notice on my next screen here that we've already done that and named them. So if we come in here, once we've named them, now we can go ahead and go to the boat view setup and place and set the positions and put an icon next to it. So we've named them. I've got docking all the way down to bilge pumps here. And now we wanna go ahead and set the position. So we can place a pin on that vessel to set the position. And then each one of these, once the position is set, we'll see a check mark appear here. And then we can change the icon. So let's show you how we can actually do that. So set position. So the cursor is gonna appear on this screen here. Now, if you notice, we went from side view to top view. I'm just giving you another option of how you can actually set up this vessel and what the views are actually looking like here. So in this example here, we have an our, our icon. We can move that icon around on the screen here um, and then place it by hitting set position. And after that, this is what you'll actually see. So you've got, obviously, like we were saying before, we've got nav light, we've got the um, IR cameras on board, and it's simple and easy to go ahead and customize this particular view on the screen itself. So that was a short little uh, run through on boat switch. We wanted to bring out something that was really easy, really simple, and gives you the ability to have uh, switching and fuse all through one device on your Garmin GPS map series and your Echo Map UHD and Ultras. So as always, if you have any specific questions on this webinar, you can email us at marine.training at garmin.com and we will go ahead and answer those questions for you. As always, you can go to our Garmin YouTube channel and under playlist marine and webinars, you can watch all of our past webinars uh, if you want to go ahead and learn more about the Garmin units, systems, what's new, what was introduced, please stay tuned because in our upcoming webinars, we have the deeper dive into the GPS map user interface coming up shortly. So as always, I'm John with the Garmin Marine team, and we'll see you out on the water.